Okay. What's up, guys? Uh, tonight we're going to be rolling around. We're going to be shooting some Cinestill 800T. I've got my friend Kenneth. All right. All right this is my friend Kenneth. I haven't taken film photos at night before, so I think you're going to be helping me out. That's what I can do, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to check out his his Instagram, his page. Do you have like a, do you have like a website or anything? Oh, uh, no, I just have Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. I'm going to try to put it like right here for you guys. Cut. <laughs> Okay, so like one thing I heard was keep a journal <clears throat> so you can kind of like log. Yeah, yeah, I used to do, I used to do that, and then I just started shooting so much film liberally that like I just. It's annoying to keep a journal. Yeah. During the day, like I got to the point where like I didn't really need a journal. Like I was shooting enough. Like during the day, I just kind of figured out the settings I needed. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually nervous for how these photos are gonna turn out because I want them. I want. I want them to look super. So, I don't know what focal length you're using too. I'm using 35. So my, if you want to like make light trails and stuff, like I'm shooting for like two seconds right now. Yeah. So take the photo and then you can shake the camera around, it'll make little light trails. So Definitely. If the flash is bright enough and like you have a subject uh, in the foreground, I mean they'll be in focus from the initial. Yeah. Like... How long did you live in New York? Seven months. That'll be cool. Seven months. favorite time. Literally, this is my favorite. The sun's coming out, yeah. Yeah, yeah now that's gonna, yeah, I'm gonna switch the color now, but... Okay, what? <coughs> Alright. No! Oh, shit. No! <laughs> shake. It didn't shake. What it did was, I guess the tripod head was loose, because it was like... <laughs> Is the like the lowest I can go? Right. Yeah. I'll take it for a second. I thought it was hilarious. This is all new. That's cool. So they did this when? They finished it yesterday? No, like a week ago. Yeah, I have, um, I still haven't developed it, but I have some of the photos and their timestamps, so I can give you an approximation. Focus! Opportunity there. All right. 
white information from yeah. the first frame. Yeah, what do you what do you prefer? Do you like shoot on a fifty or like twenty eight? Uh right now I'm shooting twenty eight. Um, I think I was also looking at Vivian Mayer's stuff, and I think she shoots like 50. Well, yeah, the, uh, the difference though is on uh, medium format, you, you divide it by like 1.6, I think. So yeah. it would be like 50 millimeters uh, in 35, like terms. I use a 65 uh, when I shoot medium format, and it translates to like 28, 35, or something like that. Alright, so we have an incredibly gorgeous morning on our hands right now. I woke up around 5.30, went for a run, and then I looked out the window at my apartment when I got home, and the sky is just orange right now, so I had to run out and grab some photos. So currently I have the last half of a roll of Cinestill 800T. I've never shot Cinestill before, so I'm excited to see how it turns out, especially with all these colors. But I think one of the things that I've always been most excited about when I'm shooting Cinestill is the fact that when you're doing night photography, and this is actually the reason that I wanted to shoot Cinestill, is when you're doing night photography, you get a lot of red halos around all your lights. So I'm hoping early morning right now, the sky is orange, we still have some lights on, I'm hoping it'll look pretty cool. Yo, those colors are intense. My God. Wow, guys, these colors are insane this morning. Gorgeous. What do we got going back across? Sorry. So since, since we're walking over to a busier street, the responsible thing to do is throw your mask on. So that's what we're... Oh no. All right. Looking good. God dang, guys. God dang. Come on. Look at... But the other day, I actually went out and shot through the first half of this Cinestill roll uh, with my buddy Kenneth. And I didn't realize when I was shooting it that I hadn't adjusted the ISO on I didn't realize when I was shooting it that I hadn't adjusted the ISO on my meter so I'm pretty sure all those photos when I get that back from developing they're all gonna be super dark so so I saved the second half of the roll for a morning like to morning where it's just gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and capture this shot of these two buildings because this is just incredible look at that guys so I feel like I only just started shooting but already, I, this is gonna be, this next shot is gonna be my 29th photo. And I'm pretty sure I have 36 exposures in this roll, so I don't have another roll after this, so I'm really trying to figure out what I wanna shoot. So I'm gonna make sure these next ones count. The sun's getting higher, we're losing that, uh, that mor morning golden glow, so I kinda wanna get it done fast, but I also wanna take something that I'm gonna like at the end. I'm gonna start heading back home, and if I can't find anything that, <clears throat> and if I can't find anything that I really like, I think I'm just gonna save these last six exposures for another day, probably another night, unless I see something really bomb. Now it's mid-January. Actually, no, it's not mid-January. It's February. Right now it's February, so it took me a little bit to get those uh, those photos developed. But I actually just took them over to my friend Travis. I took them over to my friend Travis, who recently started this um, this 
he started this little company called Film X Lab, and you know it's it's actually a really cool project because he's working, you know, he's working with donations in Kansas City, and he's doing something pretty special. Um, every time someone donates, he uses that money to buy a disposable camera, and then he puts that disposable camera in someone's hands. They shoot through that disposable camera. They bring it back to him. He develops it. They have the photos at no cost to them. So there's a lot of potential here with this project. And I, I think if you if you really source like whose hands these cameras go in, it could make a pretty cool difference in the community. But yeah, so I took um, I took my film to Travis, uh, the Cinestill, and some other roles that I shot over the summer took him to Travis, he developed them, he actually got it done in a day, which is amazing. Travis, thank you if you're watching this video, you rock. Um, but yeah, so that's the Cinestill role, and I was, I, was, I was pretty happy with how most of the photos came out. Um, like, having, having looked at pictures taken on Cinestill before I shot this role, I definitely think some of the colors that came out of my camera were really different than what I was actually expecting. Like some of those photos developed with just drastically different colors. Um, and I didn't see a super strong halo around any of the lights. So I don't know if I was overexposing, that might have been the case. Or, you know, if it's just, I'm, I'm working with a $4 camera that I bought thrift, so possibly that has something to do with it. I'm really not quite sure, I'm gonna look into it because I definitely want to shoot more Cinestill. I really enjoyed it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, nothing really too educational in it. Purpose wasn't really to educate you guys. It was just to shoot some Cinestill, experiment with it, and bring you guys along. I hope it was a pretty calm video to watch. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed editing it. Um, and I'm definitely going to be shooting some more Cinestill. Um, one thing that I really want to do is I actually want to start shooting medium format. So I'm thinking about picking up a camera. If you guys have any recommendations for a medium format camera that is not going to break the bank, uh, that would be lovely. Uh, if you want to see some more videos, photography and videography coming out of Kansas City, go ahead and like. Uh, like this one, share with your friends. Um, you know, if you do want to see a couple more videos that I'm making in Kansas City, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos walking around, just enjoying the city. So, once again, friends, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.